Yo, what is going on, guys? Johnny here. Welcome back to another to ah, uh, welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video. I had a brain fart there. I'm sorry. Uh, so you guys, before we get into this video, I want to apologize because my goal with this channel is to become a reliable Call of Duty news source for you guys. Whenever you guys want some COD news or some fun gameplays, I want you guys to feel like you can come to my channel and get exactly that, whether it be news, whether it be funny gameplays, rage quits, whatever it may be. And actually, part of becoming a reliable source for news is actually admitting when you messed up and apologizing for it. And I want to apologize because about a month and a half, maybe two months ago, I made a video link in the description where I talked about no health regen coming to core game modes in Call of Duty World War II multiplayer and that's actually just straight up false that is not true now when I first heard this rumor I actually thought it was very far-fetched myself I don't I didn't know why they would bring that to core game modes when we have hardcore that's exactly what hardcore is for but I let that rumor sit for about three days waiting for somebody to come ahead and dispel it uh, because whenever there is leaks whether it be visual or anything uh, pertaining to the future of the game Activision comes in and they shut that down real quick and whenever it's something that's just straight up false about the game mechanics the developers come out and they shut that down real quick also so I let this rumor sit for about three days and nobody was actually coming out to dispel it any of the developers nothing so I went ahead and ran with the story because I thought that maybe this source that I got it from had some legitimacy had some legitimacy to what they were saying but in the end that is not true so I am sorry you guys and also while we're apologizing I want to apologize for tomorrow's video there was just there was no saving this edit but I promise you Wednesday's video will be much better now on to the news I want to talk to you guys about the multiplayer maps because we got, actually got some more info on those we now know that this that the multiplayer maps in Call of Duty World War 2 will be inspired beyond just what's in the campaign now the campaign is actually just in Europe and they said that the multiplayer maps in Call of Duty World War 2 will expand beyond the European theater now the European theater is just a fancy way of saying that you yo, yo uh, this is just where all the major battles were fought during World War 2 so that means that we can actually get some Japanese maps and we could actually get some may, maybe a Pearl Harbor map. So the reason I'm saying that is because Pearl Harbor is the one reason why the United States even got into World War II to begin with. Uh, I live in the US. I'm American just for you, those of you who don't know. So maybe it, it'll be a little sensitive. I don't know. Uh, war in the US has always been a very sensitive topic especially when it comes to our patriots and our veterans so I don't know if they will bring a a Pearl Harbor inspired map I don't see why they wouldn't I really do think that that's a really cool idea myself so I can't wait to see what they do with the maps and hopefully we get all sorts of regions from all over the world it is world war after all so now let's get into some Michael Condry statements that kind of have me worried he sat down with edge magazine I don't know if you guys know what edge magazine is I didn't know what it was until uh, two hours ago it I think it's actually a UK games magazine like Game Informer here in the US so he actually sat down and he gave two statements specifically that had me a little worried the first one is actually very good he says it's the fast-paced action that you know and love it's gritty and it's visceral and that's actually really good I like fast pace uh, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare have me used to this fast-paced mechanic. Uh, of course I can do boots on the ground no problem as long as it's fast-paced I have absolutely no problem with it my only problem is his next quote where, where, where he says it's more grounded it's more strategic I think you'll find that it's not as fast so I don't know what he means of course you can't be as fast as jetpacks I still want it to be fast paced and unfortunately there is not going to be unlimited sprint he already came out and he said uh, unlimited running will not be in Call of Duty World War 2 so that has me a little worried also so I don't know I guess we're just gonna have to wait until E3 they are drip feeding us all of all of this information leading up to E3 and then of course the beta and the full launch of the game but we're just gonna have to wait until E3 to find out more and lastly we actually have some zombies news for all you zombie heads out there and I'm going to be honest zombies is not really my forte uh, I re I do enjoy it I do play I just don't upload it because I don't do the Easter eggs I just do it to survive all the rounds that I can that's really all I do it for but if it's anything like what they're alluding to I am 100% going to play it and I might even upload it so what they said is zombies is going to be gritty it's going to be scary it is going to have quote the unique to Dead Space signature. So if you guys don't know what Dead Space is, here's a quick clip of it. Now Michael Condry 
and Glenn Schofield, they are the dudes who brought us to the Dead Space franchise, and I love them for it. Dead Space 3 was pretty mad, but Dead Space 1 and especially Dead Space 2, those were amazing games. If you guys got an Xbox 360, I recommend that you go to GameStop, you pick up a copy, you throw that bitch in. It is a really fun game, okay? I 100% recommend that you play it. Uh, it's super fun. And if it's anything like that, uh, well, dude, color me excited because I cannot wait to see what they are going to do with this game. And also, they said that it will be based on real events. So they've been traveling to Europe, going places, studying history, and they said that zombies will be based on real events. Now, I didn't know that the zombies outbreak had already happened in the past. Uh, that's actually a very cheesy joke that I stole from somebody's comment section. I can't remember whose, but that's a comment that uh, I'm straight up just nabbing right there. Either way, you guys, let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments down below. Whether it be zombies, multiplayer, campaign, the health regen thing, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow, and it helps get this video to other people who might not know about my channel. And it helps me get subs, and it helps me grow, and I would really appreciate that, you guys. And also, if you're new around here, uh, and you like news, you like videos, you like funny moments, you like rage quits, sub, because this is the place to be. I want to bring a little bit of everything for everybody. That is the goal with this channel, and like I said, I am sorry for bringing, for bringing you guys misinformation. It was not on purpose. I actually thought that this had some legitimate legitimacy behind it unfortunately it did not but either way drop a sub if you guys enjoyed what you saw and whoa, one last thing i do apologize for tomorrow's video i promise you that wednesday's video will be back to the regular multiplayer gameplays that you know and that you love and that you expect from me tomorrow's is more like a story time and it's just it's a bad edit that could not be saved and i apologize ahead of time i promise you i will never make a video that bad again i'll see you guys next time peace